is Davis from NetcodeSource.com and in this video I'm going to be doing a basic guide and an outline for the MAPD Inferno on the CSGO. So for this map I'm going to be discussing the CT's jobs and roles and where they play on the map and what they're responsible for and what guns they're supposed to use and things like that and then I'm going to go over on the terrorist side and show you guys a general setup and default that you want to do and how to take map control and things like that. Alright guys, so let's get started. Now, when you're in CT spawn and you want to know how to set up, it's pretty simple from here. You're going to send two over towards the B side of the map and then three over towards the A side of the map. And now I'm going to discuss the B side roles first because I feel it's just a bit easier to do and it's a lot more simple. Now, when you play the B bomb site, there's a general rule that you're going to have where you're going to have one spotting who's going to have his gun out and he's going to be making sure nobody enters the choke point. And he could do that from many different areas. He could do it from here, he could do it from back here, which is what we call emo. He could do it from try boxes, he could do it from spindle, wherever. But again, the general rule is that you always have one guy spotting with a gun out in his hand, ready to shoot someone, and then one guy with a flash out either holding it like this or whatever. Um, so again, you have one guy who's ready to stop their execution and one guy who is spotting to see when they are executing and making sure nobody could just walk up freely and things like that. So when you play B, you're going to usually, usually have one guy's sight area and then another guy playing off him. Either at, usually at spawn, but sometimes you could be spindle as well. And so that's how your B players are supposed to set up. Okay, pretty damn simple. Now let's go over to the A side where it gets a little bit more complicated. Now on the A side of the map there's a lot of different ways you can play, but again we're talking about generalities and the basic guides. So how you usually play is that you have one guy art side. He could either be a rifle or an op. Um, it is usually where you put your, your offer on the team. He does usually play arches. And that's because he has a lot of areas to fall back to. He could fall back to here, he could fall back to here, or he could fall back inside the library and op on this. Alright guys, now that we went over what to do on CT side Inferno, let's go over T side Inferno. So for T side Inferno, when you come out of spawn, you're going to go through this choke point, and you're generally speaking going to have three players towards alt mid and two players towards T stairs. Now, the two players towards T stairs, one is going to hold for the middle push, and he's usually going to be your opper if you want to have an op on T side. It's, it's fine if you do it by with a rifler, but if he's rifling, he has to be a bit more pa passive and cautious about it. And his responsibility is to make sure nobody could push down CT middle like this or peek it or get that info. And then if they do try to gamble and get that info or push down towards alt middle, like if they push down here to here, he's going to kill them. You're going to have one player boost up here. He's going to come here. His role is to clear the window room and the dark room, the bedroom right here, make sure nobody's in here. And he wants to clear here and make sure nobody's here. And the other two players, um, you could either send one here to come up halls or two, it's up to you. And then they make sure nobody's in here and they help clear out this. Anyways though, this is a pretty basic guide on what to do. And you guys are gonna have to play a lot in order to fully grasp the map. But I hope this helps you guys out a little bit. Again, this is Dave from NetcodeSource.com. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.